Okay, ready? Hi, guys! Or hi, adventurers. Oh I'm trying to figure out a good way to like do an entry into the, the film. Hey, adventurers. Oh my so god. Hi. So, this is going to be an interesting day. We're going to do a clam chowder crawl. We're in Monterey today. And this is my nephew, Nathaniel. Say hi, Nathaniel. Hello. Tell him one of your famous puns. <laughs> oh, He's on the spot nope. now. Nope. <laughs> you know, lost him. <laughs> before that, he was telling us all the puns yeah. to make me sad. <laughs> this is my best friend, Shelly. Hi. And so she hates clam chowder. I do. So I'm going to ask for clam chowder with no clam. <laughs> We'll see how that goes. We're about to chow down on the chowder. There you go. That's so, and Shell loves Nathaniel's puns. I do. So this is gonna be a long day. Uh, a puntastic day. I've always loved, I'm a huge clam chowder fan. And I already know what my favorite place here in Monterey is. It's called Vivolo's. But I kind of figured, you know, I tell people that's my favorite place, but it's not really fair to say that considering I haven't eaten all the clam chowder here in Monterey. So she's going to eat all the clam chowder. So, with me. And Nathaniel is also a clam chowder fan. Uh, Are you a clam chowder fan? I've tried it. He's going to find out today if he's a clam chowder fan. <laughs> this video could go really well or really bad. Yes. So and She's driving so I get to drink. <laughs> so I'm driving. <laughs> Shell's drinking. Okay, so for every clam chowder we have, Shell's going to have a drink. I'm going to have a shot. <laughs> a shot. Oh, gosh. So by the end of this uh, clam chowder crawl. I'll be comfortable on video. <laughs> You will be able to see the different <laughs> stages of Shell. Yes. <laughs> we'll introduce you to a whole new person at the Yay! end of this video. Yes, judge one to me. and judge two. So yes, we've got two judges and Shell will judge us. I'll mediate. <laughs> and oh, she's gonna, she's gonna when, we, when Nathaniel and I get the fist fights, she's gonna be like, no. I'm gonna leave the table. <laughs> what? You're mediating. How is that mediating? And I will hopefully get a Shell for Shell. This is, and I love these puns, so I'm happy with this all day long. <laughs> the first place we're going to is called Sand Bar and Grill. Oh, she already knows, and she doesn't even like clam chowder. It's open on Sundays. Today, today is Sunday, from 10:30 a.m. to 9 p.m., and then it's open on Mondays actually at 11 a.m. We're actually probably not going to be able to hit all eight places today, so we're probably going to do a couple tomorrow, Monday morning. And the cup is $6.50 and the large bowl is $8.95. Uh, I think Nathaniel and I will probably end up sharing because it's a lot of clam chowder. So. I'm not sharing my drinks. <laughs> She's, oh. <laughs> what so, else? So we will find out. Is it really worth the price? We're heading over to Sandbar right now. It's on the Fisherman's Wharf here in Monterey and uh, parking was $1.50 an hour, I think. Like yeah, and we were able to find parking and it's Memorial Day weekend, so it's gonna be really busy. Fisherman's Wharf's really cute. I actually have never really spent that much time on it. We'll kind of wander around and see what we can find. It's cold today. It's windy. Look at, look at, look at this boy's hair. Did you brush it today? No, he likes to brush just this part, so from the front it looks like it's broad. Front! Looks he looks good. <laughs> hey ladies, he's single. Oh my god! <laughs> Ring the bell two times. <laughs> what are you gonna have, Nathaniel? Uh, I think I'll probably get uh, clam chowder. Oh, that's a good choice. I think you should get the clam chowder. I'm gonna um, get one too. What do you think? Or should we just split one? I think we should split. Okay, sounds good. Woo! Well, I think this is gonna be a good time. <laughs> Apparently, they're special here. They're Bloody Mary. Shauna, this olive is for you. <laughs> Look at that. So here's our clam chowder, clam chowder number one from the sandbar. And then we also got some calamari. That's the seafood that she will eat. You're eating a baby octopus. Tastes Tastes like, like clams mixed with cheese and potato. Yeah. Delicious. That sounds good. I'm gonna try it now. Okay, so it is pretty good. It's a little, it's not super thick, it's a little on the, but it's not thin, it's like a medium consistency. Yeah, it's more of a soup. 
like more of a soup and less than a chowder. Yeah, it's, so it's not super chicken and chowdery. There's something about the flavor that's a little different that I can't figure out. I think it's more cheesy. It kind of tastes cheesy, that's what it is. But I don't think you put clam chowder in cheese. I mean, I don't think you put cheese in clam chowder. So that's a little, it's odd. Maybe it's the cream that I like they it use. more cheese. But it, I don't think you usually put cheese in clam chowder. So I think it's like the cream that they use is more rich or something. But, um, but I don't taste the clam at all. So I don't have any clam flavors there. But it is, yeah, no, it's potatoey and I'm cheesy. I didn't chunks of clam. I didn't taste any, but it still is yeah. pretty good. So this, they have great this, chunks in it. So yeah. sometimes you won't get Maybe clam, I didn't get a clam chunk a in my... Like the one I had was mostly clam. Yeah, okay. Well, I gotta have a piece with the clam, but uh, overall, pretty good. Okay. I say we do this. We do a one out of five, each of us. Okay. So, uh, from one to five, one being, it was okay, it wasn't very good. Five being is the best clam chowder I've ever okay. had. Okay. Sounds good. What would you ra rate it? I'm gonna say a three. I say three, three, four, three point five. So three and a half for Nathaniel, three for me. Okay, This is good. delicious. But maybe we'll have to readjust our our yeah. numbers when we... Okay, for my taste buds, this is a three. Not comparing it to any other clam chowders. Oh, that? not comparing it to any other clam chowder? Yeah. Maybe it's four. Oh, okay. So for Nathaniel, it's a four. For me, it's a three. Kind of biased because I love cheese. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm actually going to lower my rating to a two. Maybe a 2.5. This is not my favorite clam chowder. But his heart, his heart is stopping. <laughs> Mine's still four. I'm glad. Calamari is four. Bloody Mary, three. Okay, so the consensus was that calamari, which calamari was amazing. It was really good because it wasn't super chewy. The flavor was good. Shell just wanted a special sauce with it. I did. And, and then I like special sauce. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> Bloody Mary was eh. You know, she felt it was okay. And then Nathaniel Love the clam chowder. It, it, ha it tasted like there was cheese in it. It was delicious. I loved it. And Amy did not. So we're going to go about 10 minute walk over to the other Fisherman's Wharf, which is, it's over there. See that? It's across the way. It's about we're time for us to set sail to the next location. <laughs> that was a cute one. And over there, there's two places. There's one called Grotto Fish Market, and the other one's called Old Fisherman's Grotto. So we're going to check those two out. I think the old fisherman's grotto has a clam chart and a bread bowl, but the bread bowl has a like a garlic. Which pop. they better sell separately, or I'll. She wants garlic sell. bread, and we want the garlic yeah. on top of the, <laughs> the fish bowl. So we're gonna try those two out. We're gonna do three in a row. Let's hope that we're, you know, not have enough room for it. Yeah, let's hope we continue to have enough room for it because Nathaniel loved this one so much that he ate the clam chowder, and I didn't. So we I have got room to go. I don't know. <laughs> that took me a second. <laughs> Rot to go. Yeah, I got it. Got. <laughs> <laughs> over there so I'm not sure why we're doing a clam chowder crawl. <laughs> You're no fun. Because <laughs> clam chowder is amazing. I am so fun. Yeah right. Look at this view by the way. Yes lovely. It's so beautiful here. It's a nice day too. So the first place we went to was Old Fisherman's Grotto and it's kind of a slightly fancier restaurant on the inside. Not super fancy but you know a little more high end. The wait was like 30 minutes and we decided not to go there. They have like a little um, outdoor like shop kind of yeah thing. like an outdoor shop sort of thing where we, we were able to get all the clam chowder and then we got some of this garlic bread and shell got fruit she got some fruit. fruit is good for you yeah so i guess it's i better eat some of that She's so shell was a little a little upset by this place and why were you a little upset by it i don't fully appreciate a restaurant that doesn't allow children this is one of those restaurants that tell you no booster seats no crying children or disruptive children allowed in the right. restaurant and as a single mom who like to go out and do things I do find that a little uncomfortable. Yeah. I understand okay. really high-end restaurants and things like that, where you might not want to bring kids, and I, I understand that. But this is a touristy place on uh, Fisherman's Wharf. There's a lot of children and families around, and it, yeah. it does seem a little bit funky. It yeah. irked me a little bit. Yeah. So we did get food from there, even though she was a little a little <laughs> irked. But we're gonna try this clam chowder because that is why we are here. Nathaniel, will you just the honors? Oh, careful. Okay. We're, 
crying. So, okay, what do you think? <laughs> Look at that face. What does it taste like? The clam, the clams are perfect. Okay. The chowder is not good. <laughs> is it thick or is it thin or what is it? It's like, it's, it's trying to be both. Thick and thin? Yeah, but it's failing at it. Also, it's kind of being biased because there's carrots in it, and I hate carrots. Oh. Carrots are disgusting. They're gross creatures of vegetables. So he's he's uh, he's a little biased. It is a carrot problem here. Okay. Well, I'll try it and see what I think. Garlic bread's not so great either, but I'm gonna try the clam chowder. With I'm not bothered by carrots, so let's see how this goes. It is a nice con it's, it's a nice consistency. I like this thicker texture. Hmm. What is that flavor? See, it's you know, actually, it does get quite a bit of flavor from the carrots, which is kind of strange. I yeah, do that's like. Why I hate it. I do like the texture better than the last one. It has a little more depth of flavor, I think, than the last one, but not necessarily the right depth of flavor. I think it's not the best clam chowder. It's not horrible. I actually think I like this one a little bit better than the last one, but I'd probably only give Weirdo. it a. Let me see. I'd probably only give it a two point five. Maybe I'd three. give it a solid two. There's a weird flavor in there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna change it. They put like celery salt or something, or some kind of, what are you saying? Uh, I'm gonna change my rating to a 1.5. 1.5? No. I like saying bad things about places, but I don't know. That good. When Rochelle doesn't like the bread, it's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, so. But she their loves fresh bread. cut fruit is good. It's that, really good. That's not hard. <laughs> We're in California. It's not that hard to get fresh okay. fruit. <laughs> so we're going to head on to the next one. Check it out. It's possible that the Grotto Fish Market is the same place as the Old Fisherman's Grotto because their signs look exactly the same. So we might have to improvise. Okay, so one thing that all these places do is a lot of these places here on the Fisherman's Wharf actually just have a thing of clam chowder sitting out in front. And they're giving samples out. So we're thinking we might try that out. Lightning we'll round, okay. starting at Krabby Jams. Krabby Jams. Next, we're gonna try scales. This is apparently the best inside. Ooh, the best inside? All right, scales, oh seafood and steaks. <laughs> oh. That's um, pretty fishy. And the one across the way over there was um very thick, super thick. Uh, this one's less thick. And a lot more clam. Mm-hmm. You can taste the clam in that. They probably use like a clam base or something like that. Uh, what do you give Krabby Jims? You said three? Okay. And I said a 2.5 for Krabby Jims. And then this one is scales, and I'd say I'd say three for this one. I'd say 2.5. Okay. We're reverse. in a reverse. Yep. Ooh, Shell wants crepes. Nick's on the bay. Okay, so here's Nick's on the bay. That's almost like a it's actually almost kind of like a, a potato chowder. It's not good. It's got, it's got a lot of oregano or something in it. And it's very spicy. For me, it's like a 2.5. It definitely doesn't taste like a clam chowder. It has a very strong spice in there. Uh, the spice that you were saying that you didn't like, so I'm like talking about sage. Sage. They put sage in that one. Wow, okay. Yeah, it was strong sage flavor in that other one. Crab Louis Bistro. One sip. Dump it. Share it. Don't drink the whole thing. I'm trying no Crab Louis. It's not good at all. Point five. Okay, we're gonna get some now at D Dominico's on the wharf. Yeah, I like the bacon in this. Yeah, one. It's, good. it's pretty good bacon flavor. Mhm. Mm okay, so far I agree that was probably the best of the lightning round, and that was at Dominico's. And Nathaniel gave it a what? Three point five. And I'd say I'd give it a three. It smells really good. Is it like no clam? No, I got a big piece of clam. I didn't get any bubbles in here. Okay, this one's pretty good. This one is very good. I didn't get any clam at all. This one tastes the way a clam chowder should taste. It's a little too milky though, so like the milk or the cream is too I give it a 2.5. I give this one. You guys are very harsh today. Hey, the first one I gave was four. Problem is we've been tasting so many of these, it makes it harder. I give this a three. I give it a 2.5. So, so far these last two that we've hit on the wharf closest to the end of the wharf are the best. And that's uh, Abalonetti's, I like abalone, Abalonetti and Domenico's.
What do you think, Nathaniel? Which ones are your favorites? Of uh, just the lightning rod? Yeah. Probably the one with the bacon. Yeah. Bacon. Everything is better with bacon. Okay, so I like think that might be the end of the lightning, lightning round. And I think now we're going to head off to another stop. Mini donuts! We're taking a break from the clam chowder to get wet. Mini donuts! So we tried four different flavors. You've got the choco latte. Choco latte. We got some hot chocolate. She's gonna dip this choco latte in there. And then we also got this one's the bacon and maple. This one's tutti frutti. And then this one is botanical garden, which has like what lavender. lavender and all some other kind of stuff too. So since Shell doesn't get to weigh in on the clam chowder much, what do you think of our little donut break? They were delicious. Some of them rate a little each more one. flavor than the others. Yeah. Rate each one. Oh, yeah. one yeah, rate each I'm one. not rating each one. Okay. Some of them were delicious. Some of them. No, they were all delicious. Yeah. Just some of the flavors were really spot on. So what, tell us which ones were more flavorful. The choco latte was mm -hmm. very flavorful. Yeah. Very delicious. Botanical garden, not so flavorful. Oh, However, no. the donut was delicious. Yes, very moist. So it was still really good. Yeah. We had fruity tutti, which tasted like that was, which was Amy's favorite. That was they were the, also that was also my little dry. Yep. But the flavor was soft, yes. spot on. Bacon bacon. Still lacking in the flavor. Yeah. I had one though that still had a little bit of the batter inside, and I actually like that. So she likes cake batter. Amazing. Yeah, cake batter, pancake batter, all the batters. Just put the yeah. batter in her the mouth and she's happy. Was a lot of them, especially <laughs> for the bacon bacon flavors of like the sugar. For the bacon bacon, all the sugar came off. Yeah, and so if they you were still really good. Yeah, they were good. I, I like this place. It was a fun little stop to get some mini donuts, and now we're really full, so we're gonna go move on and take a break and walk some of this off. Tutti Fruity. Yeah. And that time, best one. All right. Got a shirt out of it. Oh yeah, show us your shirt. Donut kill my vibe. <laughs> That's so cute. That's perfect. This is perfect for our donut. This isn't a donut crawl. I already did a donut crawl. I'm gonna link the donut crawl video up here so you can check out our other crazy food crawl, but it was so much fun. Oh, this is our little homage to the donut crawl. Yay! Yay! Like yes, hey. Yeah. So More we made, than clam chowder. We had to make Shell happy a little bit. So I guess she's a little happy now. I'm a Scotch girl, so I have Glen Livet, neat, and then sh I'm a what? I'm a woo girl. I'm a girl. <laughs> what do you see? Nathaniel has. What do you have, Nathaniel? Orange fizz. Orange fizz that has no alcohol in it. Just so you know. <laughs> and then it's chili. What do you? We're have? not being illegal here. Uh, Hong Kong rule. <laughs> what makes it Hong Kongish? I have no idea. Start to stop reading. <laughs> we're waiting for the food because we're getting kind of hungry, huh? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? We already want more clam chowder. That sounds crazy. I don't. <laughs> yeah. We're also getting more calamari. Yes, that'll be delicious. I do. Calamari. I actually like the other calamari better. Way better. Yeah. But Nathaniel thinks it's 9 out of 10. Because I like my calamari crispy. I don't like it really chewy. Yeah. I like it yeah, crisp. I'm not chewy. It was soft. Oh, it was soft. Yeah. Yeah, because I like it. Like, just he likes it crispy. Also. Okay. But the reason we are here is the clam chowder. Which has bacon in it. Should great. Yep, bacon is amazing. <laughs> Look at that face. It's good, but there's something crunchy. I'd probably give it a 3.5, just because I still think the first one is better. So I gotta give it a 3. Because that's a shell. Yeah, you didn't like getting the shell in his mouth. This is a shell. What do you think of the flavors, though? Flavor's delicious. I love it. And what do you think, Shell? I'm curious to say if your ratings get better, the hungrier you get. I, that's not a thing. <laughs> that is not a thing. Well, I mean, we haven't eaten, I will give it a, a four. And the first time we did, we also gave well, no, it She no, gave it a two. I gave, gave it a two. two. So. <laughs> Debunking your idea, Shell. Okay, I'm gonna try it now. See if I get something crunchy in it like Nathaniel. There's Shell. Oh, wow, that's really bacony. It's good. Oh, that's really deep bacony flavor. The flavor is amazing. I would give this a four out of five. I think the flavor is delicious. It's the right uh, consistency. It's a little thinner maybe than I would like. So I'm gonna try it some more. I have been known to change my my ratings. So we'll see as we get further into this bowl how I actually feel. Fifteen dollars for a bowl, and the calamari was shell. 
calamari was meh. Nathaniel loved, loved the calamari. calamari. He likes the texture better, but there was actually no flavor to this that calamari. Was fl- yeah, the, calamari the, the sauce the was stop. amazing. Yeah. The sea restaurant, they might have some really good entrees, but for our calamari and our clam chowder, it's kind of like, you know, there's probably other places you could check out. What did I give it a four? Maybe it should have been a 3.5. <laughs> She's already lowering it. She's like, uh, wait, now that it's out of sight. <laughs> it should have been a 3.5. <laughs> I'm very wishy-washy when it comes to, I don't like, I actually don't like, like, numbering things. It was a four. Let her keep her four. Okay. I'll but that was my, really no, the only 3. redeeming 5. quality. The yeah. drink was good. The drink was, well, mine was scotch, so you can't really mess that up. My just, drink was good. Okay. My drink, his drink Amazing. was good. Okay, so the drinks were really good. So the bartender was, is good. Service was, eh. Wasn't and terrible. It was really just overpriced wasn't overpriced for... It's a hotel restaurant. I hope that your future boss watches this video. <laughs> oh, you're so oh creepy. <laughs> We're on Cannon Row now. We ended up getting one from Louis Linguini's. Continued oh, lightning it round. It's very peppery. There's a lot of pepper in there. Yeah. Very fishy. Yeah, I can taste some, the clam quite a bit. I think it's pretty good. You like that one? It's definitely different. No, he's oh. kind of iffy about it. I said that you can taste the pepper in it, and then it's, it's 2.5. It is definitely clammy. I'd say this is a 3.5 for me. So this is pretty good. It's, it's 2.5. Louis, it's good. Okay. Louis Linguini's. Right there, there's a sign behind us. <laughs> yes, bing. Uh, the wait is about 30 to 40 minutes and we just wanted to get some clam chowder. We picked some up because they have a market here so you can also just come and get fish and stuff like that and clam chowder. And we're gonna try it right here. All right, Nathaniel. Oh, that's a hot. soupy hotness. You're first. What? <laughs> okay, it's I'm first. boiling. <laughs> here, it's yeah. still boiling. The consistency looks pretty good. He's like, I like mine really thick so I don't know. That's pretty good. That tastes like clam chowder. I don't know if that is gonna like it. Tastes too clammy. It makes sense that you'd get one that tastes really clammy at a fish market because they're focusing on the fish more. This okay. is a four, also four. I got a four. She is bad. It is a bit fishy for me. It's too fishy for him. I kind of figured it would be. You like consistency? Yeah. I prefer it a little thicker, but it's a very good consistency. So what's your number? It's definitely not as good as the other one, so I'm gonna have to say two. Whoa. Two. Ouch. Yikes. This guy's completely diverged with this Allie, one. Allie, we Allie. have very different tastes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I exactly. Like, I like clam said chowder and Nathaniel likes cheese and bacon. Allie, <laughs> <laughs> and potato. Don't That's forget a the... fairly appropriate assessment. <laughs> so I'm going to raise mine. You don't okay. have to. You don't have to. There's no peer pressure I here. I three. Oh, okay. It's a three. Because that was just the first bite. The second bite, that was fine. Also, the right. clams, there is some clam pieces in it, and they're really, really tough. Like, it's not mm-hmm. like a nice sink in, nice chew, and stuff. The clams are a little tough. Yeah. I will agree with that. Oh my gosh, look at these foodies. <laughs> All right, now, <laughs> we are going to hit the last place we'll be hitting for the night, and it is actually my favorite place to have clam chowder in Monterey. I've never been never been. Shell, have you ever been to Vivolo's? Nope. So Vivolo's is my favorite and we'll see if it holds up after trying all those other clam chowders. I haven't found my favorite yet so I'm excited to see if, if this remains my favorite. Pretty sure I found my favorite though. Yeah, <laughs> he still loves that first place. We're gonna get clam chowder in the bread bowl and here it comes with a garlic cheese lid. So we're gonna get that because it's dinner time, we're splurging. Saddest day of my life, they don't have the bread bowl, so we don't get the garlic cheese there. She's so sad. That's not how logic works. And logic the weight was like really this. bad. And this used to be my favorite but place, like but the weight was really logic. long. And I don't have any clam bread bowls. So Shell is now scolding me and reminding me that this is a clam chowder crawl, not a bread bowl crawl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually the logical one here, but um, but apparently I really wanted I really wanted the garlic cheese bread. 
What do you think, Nathaniel? It's pretty good. Pretty good, like, um, one to five. A. A? Zero. What? <laughs> Just kidding. A four. A four? And the first one is now five, so. Oh, he's changing the first one. Okay, so this is your second. This one is pretty good, though. Okay. I can see why you like it. I'm gonna have to say this is your least favorite. It's not my least favorite. It's probably a four. Maybe a, no, maybe a 3.5. Oh, it's not a favorite. I must have loved the, the, the clam chowder bread bowl or it's just not the same as it was before. It doesn't have as much of a clam chowder flavor as I would like. The consistency is, is okay. It's a little chunky, a little chunkier, like a, like the cream is chunky. I'd say it's 3.5. So the inn was your favorite, huh? The inn, the the, the hotel. hotel. If it was a better consistency, that would have been my that would have been the perfect. Well, not perfect. I actually like, like the last one we had. The sea harvest was a four as, for, as well. So if I had like the more clam chowdery flavor with the bacon from the hotel, and then the consistency of the old fisherman's grotto, perfect clam chowder. Now I know how to build my own perfect clam chowder, though. You just mix all so, those Bivolos was my favorite before, and after trying a million clam chowders today, it's kind of interesting to see that this one is no longer my favorite. <laughs> I guess it's not a big deal, right? <laughs> today is day two. We are not sick of clam chowder yet. Uh, are you sick of clam chowder, Nathaniel? I bet. Know. You haven't even eaten here, so. <laughs> Get lost. I mean, I can. I'm hungry, so maybe I can. Try, I, I I can try some more. Two more. We only have two more places. Can we make this? We'll can we do this? We'll get some chowder, and then we'll also get something to eat. For yeah, some regular food. So, uh, we've got two more places. This next place is called Schooner's Kitchen and Bar, and they're open like at 6:30 a.m. So if you need an early morning place, this place is open early, and they stay open late. So it's on Canary Row proper. We're gonna. We found parking up here on the street above at Foam. And we're gonna head on down. So let's try schooners, see how good it coffee. is. And get coffee. <laughs> So since we're early, they make the clam chowder fresh every day, so we're not sure if we're gonna get any. Fingers crossed that we get some clam chowder because otherwise we're just gonna have a lovely breakfast here at Schooners, but we won't get to try the clam chowder. How's your mimosa? Delicious. Oh no, that's good. That's good champagne. That is good, good champagne. Oh, it's a mambo. Oh, wait, wait, do that again. All right, we're already liking the consistency. Let's see the consistency. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh yeah, that looks good. And I like the chunkiness of it. You like that? Pretty good? It smells like it's a little cheesy. What do you give it? A 3.99. He's giving it a 3.99, all right. I just want to say, huh. I changed mine to a 4.5. This is a 4.5. This is a really, really good clam chowder. I would say it's almost perfect. Um, it's a little sweet, so that's maybe the only thing that... Thank you. That's maybe the only thing that keeps it from being a and perfect five. Well, it's supposed to be hot, but the texture is beautiful, the flavors are great, and um, you can taste the clam, but it's not too clammy the way that one of the other ones were. At sea Harvest was a little more clammy, so uh, that is amazing clam chowder. Come to Schooners so far that it's the best of the trip. 4.5 for sure. First world's best. No, no, no. This one's a 4.5. First one was not the best. <laughs> okay, like, that was really good. We pretty much licked the bowl clean, and I'm a, I'm a happy camper. This is the basically the kind of clam chowder I've been looking for this whole clam chowder crawl, so very happy, a little giddy, excited, because I was getting a little tired of clam chowder, believe it or not, but um, this one was incredible. And nice big chunks, texture was perfect. Very, very happy with this clam chowder. Schooners is definitely a win. Look at, ooh, dang, that steak looks good. That's Nathaniel's steak and, and hash browns, okay. And I got the frittata with feta instead of goat cheese and a little English muffin, and Shell got another drink. <laughs> and there's Shell's, oh, she really actually got an omelet. What'd you think of it? Uh, it was probably my favorite place of the trip so far. Great food. I don't usually like omelets, but their omelets were delicious. 
everything was great. Two mimosas later, I'm feeling fine. <laughs> you could have put the mimosas. <laughs> No, the service was amazing. Our server was Ezra. Service was great. The best time. The yeah, best, best service we've had. Ezra was a c incredible, and he was very, he was very fun too. So we enjoyed him. He laughed at them a lot. It was great. He laughed at our clam chowder crawl, so that was good. Yes. <laughs> oh, and then the important thing was that there was a lot of space for her to spread out. Yes, I had, a, I had like, I had a moment where I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> she can spread out. <laughs> so if you want a, a restaurant that has space. Schooners is the place to go. Great place. Of course, that's not usually what you think about when you go to a restaurant, but. It is when you're me and we went to the tiny ones. Yeah, yeah. So, good place. Now we're gonna head over to Monterey's Fish House. I have no idea where we're going next. We're going to another we're going one. We're gonna get more coffee. Well, we're gonna get more coffee, but we will be going to another we do a chowder place. <sighs> Maybe in <laughs> Seattle. That would be a good thing in Seattle. I've always wanted to go to Pike's place. <laughs> You haven't been to Vice Place? I've never been to Seattle. Oh, well, when Shell <laughs> comes, some point when Shell comes to Seattle, we're going to do a coffee crawl. Uh, yeah, so if we fly. actually go, and she buys the yeah. ticket. So. Okay, onward to the next one. All right, so we're at Monterey's Fish House. This is our last stop, and it is actually closed. And I'm thinking maybe because today is Memorial Day, Monday, that they maybe they're not open. They're either not open on Mondays, or they're just not open today for the holiday. But I honestly feel like Schooners was a great finish to our clam chowder crawl because that was the best one I've had here in Monterey. And so I'm gonna say that, considering we tried so many yesterday with the lightning round, I feel pretty satisfied in saying that Scooters was the best. Nathaniel, what'd you think? What was your best? First one. So Nathaniel's favorite was the Sand Barn Grill, which was over on the smaller side of Fisherman's Wharf. And that was not my favorite. I gave it a two, so it really wasn't my favorite clam chowder. But we kind of decided it was probably good for kids because it had a little more of a cheesy flavor. So um, if you're looking for clam chowder that's that kids will love because it's just very cheesy-ish, Nathaniel loved that one. He licked the bowl clean. Shell and I loved the, the calamari there yeah. was amazing. Yeah, and that was, I think, one of the best tasting things we had probably on the whole trip mm -hmm. right and so but honestly well you loved your omelet this morning and, and mm -hmm. all the food this morning was really good but that calamari was surprising I think is what it was but at schooners the clam chowder was incredible 4.5 as close to 5 as you possibly can get without making yourself at home right to your taste <laughs> exactly <laughs> the other places you know not as amazing as we would have liked for clam chowder wise but you know, it's kind of fun just to go and try different things. It was really fun to go down Fisherman's Wharf and have our little lightning round where you can try clam chowder at all the different places. And you can actually tell the difference between all the clam chowders, that they're not all the same. That was a great place too, all the candy shops for kids, like the view was beautiful. Yeah. It was a nice place. Yeah, and the parking wasn't so bad. And we were able to find parking there because Monterey on the weekends parking is awful, it's atrocious. Just driving around downtown is pretty bad too. So if you really have the energy, I recommend parking over by the Fisherman's Wharf and walking downtown, you know, cause that, you know, if you have the right shoes on, that wouldn't be so bad. We really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed spending time with Nathaniel and Shell. Yeah, I enjoyed it. We don't get to see each other that often, so it was a blast, but you actually will see them in another couple weeks because they're coming up to Washington to visit me, and we're gonna do a couple fun videos. We're gonna do a ghost video. I like ghosts. Yes, and we want to see how badly we can scare the little one back there. <laughs> and, the more nightmares, the better. Yes. Stay tuned for those videos. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button below. And if you didn't, well, sorry. Subscribe <laughs> <laughs> for more. Yes, we had a lot of fun. Yes, would you say it again? Subscribe for more. Yes, click that subscribe. It's going to be. You don't have be... a pun to end it with? Oh. <laughs> pun time. <laughs> This video was excellent. There you go. What a great pun. <laughs> this, this is Shell's little egg. Isn't it cute? It's called a lazy egg. <laughs> Click the notification button so you'll know the next time a video comes up. Thank you for joining us. We had a great time in Monterey. Bye. Bye. Till the next time.